okay so right now we are going to furthermore go inside the detail of phones group okay previously we have checked it out the basic information of text formatting okay right now we will go through furthermore detail formatting inside it okay we have checked it out all these which is outside that furthermore last one uh, which was uh, clear formatting clear formatting remove the all the okay without without two things what was that highlighting text and change keys okay furthermore right now if i want to go to the phones group so clicking over here so this go to the phones group here in a phones we have two tabs available over there one is a phone another one is a character spacing okay first of all you can see this better or not yes, i am going to zoom that okay in a phones remember that we have two types of phones available one is letter phones another one is a complex script phones one is the letter phones another one is the complex script phones letter phones is a english phones all the english french german uh, all the french english uh, for the more languages which are mostly european languages they come in a word in a latin language okay and complex script languages is dari pashto farsi arabic so urdu they are complex script language okay so we have phones for two things one is for dari pashto or farsi and another one is for a and another one is for english okay english french german so for that we have another letter okay right now if i'm going to write some text here and i am going to change the font of font size okay so the text selected go over to the fonts and here if i am going to change this thing so it is going to affect that one okay furthermore increasing the size <coughs> so get affected or not but if if inside that or if i am going to do <coughs> go over there fonts and i am going to change this thing so okay. 18 okay and selecting anything inside it size have increased or not yeah. and click on okay effect is there no. because this is not affecting the latin language this is not a latin language okay so why because we have applied on complex script and this is a complex script this is not a complex script this is a latin language we have applied option of what complex script if i am going to write complex script here okay here Okay, if I'm going to write complex script, so for it is necessary to install a language. It is necessary to install a language. I've installed a language, and you can see here, Farsi. So, effect is there or not? Okay, the size has been increased or not? Okay, how this has been increased? If I'm going to select the text, select the text, go over to the fonts, and here, complex script language. Right now, I'm going to decrease the size of this. to 8 which has been affected complex script and the complex script means dari pashto farsi or english that language has been affected or not? okay but not the english language has not been affected over there okay so in a phones group first of all here we have phones for a uh, latin language and another one is for complex you got the difference okay Here, same. I told you with the fonts, we have three things. One is the font, another one is the font size, and third one is the font size. So right now you can see that font, font style, and font size is there or not? Same. Font, font size, and font style are available over there. Any problem here in this area? Clear? Okay. Regular bold and underline which which we have discussed previously. Right now, come to the. We can change the text color from here also. So fonts color. Select the text. I have told you for all these selection is necessary. Okay. Here, go over to the fonts. Okay. Shortcut key for fonts. Shortcut key for fonts group. That is Control plus D. Control plus D. If I am going to press that, you can see that font groups is coming or not. Control plus D. Okay. Next one here, font. color if you want to select that and color it from here so possible to do so select the color combination click on okay so on both okay remember that color is going to be applied for all 
for complex script and for Latin language. For complex script and Latin language. Furthermore, if I go to inside it here, underline is there. We have done a shortcut key for simple underline. Okay, that is control U. Inside it, you can see that word by word is there, means word only. Double underline is there, and some more styles are also available. Which one suits you? The text has been selected? No. So, how this is going to be applied? First of all, select the text, go over to the phone script, and here. Which underline you want to apply? I want double underline. So, control, sorry. Select that and apply that. You can see that here, double underline is showing or not? Clear? Okay. For and word by word underline is what? Means with a space. With a space, there will be no underline over there. Word only. So the underline is where? Under the words only or not? And this is the word only. Clear? Okay. We have also shortcut key for that. Okay. Underline for words only. And that is uh, for double underline. I'm going to show you sh here. Shift Control D for double underline. The shortcut key is what? Shift Control D. Shift Control D. Double underline. Here, this one double underline is showing here. So you can do also by help of what shortcut key or I'm going to apply here. I'm going to press Shift, Control, and D. So you can see that double underline is showing or not? Okay. Okay. Another one. We have also shortcut key for word by word underline. Okay. Underline uh, under the words. We have also shortcut key for that, and that is Shift, Control, W. Shift, Control, W. Shift control, shift control W. That is used for word by word underline. That is used for word by word underline. Clear? And for other, no shortcut key is there. There is no shortcut key for dot dot underline and the others okay so you can apply it select the text if you want a zigzag so select that and click on ok it is going to be applied clear okay one more we can change the color of the underline also we can change the color of the underline also go over there and here which color you want for underline so you i want a uh, orange color for underline select that and i need which underline so here with increase, click on OK so you can see that the color of the underline is going to be changed. Clear? Possible to do so. Furthermore, here underline color simple. This thing is simple. Next one is strike through. We have also check it out this thing or not. Okay? Strike through means on a text line is there. So that is a strike through. And also, next one is double strike through means two lines on a text. Two lines on a text. Subscript and superscript, which we have also discussed in a previous class. Right now, come to the shadow. Okay, what shadow is? Yes. yes. How we? Okay. Again, press the same shortcut. Okay. So here, I once underlined that. Okay. How I'm going to control you? Press that and control you. Okay. Control you press two times, so it is going to be removed. Once underlined, again you want to un underline that. So here, what are you going to press? Control U again. Same shortcut key. Okay. Or Shift Control W, word by word underline. Again, press the same shortcut key. Shift Control W. Okay. So it is going to be removed. <coughs> okay. Next one is a shadow. What is this? Shadow. Shadow effects is there. I'm going to show you. First of all, increasing the text size. Okay, right now on this text, select the text and go over to the phones group. Your class will be Yeah, next one here is select the shadow and you can see here, Sia like thing is showing or not? 
Uh, this is the shadow which is the pet for the text. The pet for the text. What we have done? Selected the text and go over to the phone group and here we have a shadow or not? Just this quick tick mark makes that. Clear? Okay. Next one is uh, outline. Okay. What outline is there? Just border. Just border of the phones is going to be shown. Okay. Here I am going to select no shadow, just outlines. So you can see that just outlines means border of the text is showing, phones is showing, but inner is empty. Inner is empty. So that is what a outline. Okay. If this outline is not more effective, well, well, your text size is small. It is not going to be shown more effective, right? No. Okay. I want to come to the normal. I want to come to clear formatting. What shortcut key I am going to press? Control plus space. So coming to the normal, right now I'm going to write text. Okay. Right now I'm going to apply here this same font effects and what that is shadow. No sorry. Outlines. Right now it's not more clear or not. Okay. So while the text size is increased, then this outline is more clear. Okay. So text size is small, so you cannot see further more clarity inside the text. Okay. How I'm going to increase the font? Control plus what? Brackets. Parentheses or brackets. Okay. So you can see the font size is going to be increased and decreased. But which brackets? Closing brackets, not opening. Okay. Come to the further more inside it. Next one is embossed or engraved. Embossed and engraved. Okay, what this is? Here, I'm going to Go over there and no outline, simple text. Just click on OK and increase the size. Control P fold. Right now, if I'm going to apply uh, embossed effect on that, so you will see here the light is moving from down and the text is going to show. Just like uh, from something, you're going to put a light from downside. Okay. Okay. So you can see there in this text. In this text, the light is showing from here or not? In this direction. Okay, and that is which effect? Embos. Here, the shade is coming at the top or not? And the whiteness is showing or not? Here, black is showing at the top and white is showing from downside. So that is what? Embos. Okay, and right now you can see it further more clear. That is embos. Right now I'm going to show you engrave. Okay, on this I'm going to apply what? Engrave. Select the text and go over there, phones, and apply. Engrave on that. So right now you will see the difference between two. Okay. If you're not, so I'm going to show you with my pen. So here, right now. The light is coming from the top, okay, from this direction for this in grave, and for this light is coming from downside and moving up. Clear what is embossed and what is in grave? That is just text effect, simple text effect, okay. Next one here is a uh, next effect is a uh, small caps. Next one is what? Small caps. Okay. Small cap have just like uh, while all the text will look bigger. Right now I'm going to come to the slide and the slide you can see that no slide.
Okay, you can see here. Okay, you can see here working with text option. Here, all the all the characters are capital or not? Upper case. But here you can see that W is slightly more bigger as compared to the other. T is slightly more bigger as compared to the other. O is slightly more bigger as compared to the other. So which font has been applied? That is known as a small caps. That is known as a what? Small caps. Means all will look bigger. But which small were there? So it is going to be shown small, but with a capital. What with a capital effect? Okay. I am going to apply this thing here. And small cap also have a shortcut key with a. I'm going to show you. I have written here also some shortcut keys for you. Double underline. Okay, hidden text. We are coming over there. Format all capital letter. Yeah, K. I think so with K. Yes. Shift control K. Okay. So right now I'm going to apply hit here. Just select that. Control C copy. Control V paste. And S I need capital here. Okay. Right now select the text and press control space bar okay increase the size control v bold right now i'm going to apply small caps so go over there and you can see that here small caps click on ok so you can see that all become capital but which was small this size is slightly small lower case are slightly small as compared to the other that is known as small cap this this phone's uh, effect we use for what for headings Okay, for headings, for titles, we use this font effect. Clear? Got that? Okay, we have also shortcut key for that. And what shortcut key? Shift Control K. Shift Control K. Shortcut key is for that. Shift Control K. Clear? Okay, next one. Uh, phone group. Okay, phone group shortcut key is what? Control D or not? Okay. Right now, next one is all cap. Next one is what? All caps. All caps make just upper case. Means all the character become upper case. Upper case. So right now I'm going to select all cap and click on OK. So it become upper case or not? Upper case. If I'm going to undo that and apply that again. Okay. Shortcut key we also have for this. Shortcut key. That is Shift Control A. Shift Control A. For all cap we have a shortcut key that is Shift Control a. Okay, and in a slide you can see it here. I have mentioned that uh, shift control A format all caps or not this one. Okay, and previously the shortcut key which we have talking about that one small cap. Clear? All the others I think so we have discussed just one two is remaining inside it. So I am going to do right now. Okay. Next one here is a. Uh, Oh, phone group. <coughs> Hidden. Okay. So for that, I'm going to create a scenario, and the scenario will be like that. Delete all text. Control space. Here. Yeah. Uh, let's suppose I'm creating entry test paper. Entry test paper. Entry text exam. Okay, that will be center aligned. And I'm going to write some question here. Increase size. Okay, number one. So here, this space, in this space, what will be there? Answer will be there or not? Okay. Right now, another question, question number two. Um, okay. 
Okay. Right now, this is a question paper. Inside that, if I'm going to write answer, so it's also possible to write the answer. NaCl. Sodium chloride is that or not? NaCl. This is the formula. So what I'm going to do is select the select this text and make it hide. Make it what? Hide. The answer should be hidden. Shift Control H. The shortcut key for that is what? Shift Control H. Or you can apply it from here. Make this text hidden. Click on OK. Text become hidden or not? Oh, it's not showing also right now. How I'm going to show? I'm going to tell you. Another gravity, value of gravity. Okay. But before there, go over there, Microsoft Office button, World option, Microsoft Office button, World option, and here, display, and display, what? Show hidden text also. Okay, Microsoft Office button, display, and hidden text also. So make a tick mark here, and click on OK. So right now, you will see NACL is showing or not. Okay, here. I'm going to write the formula for uh, the value. Sorry, the value of gravity on Earth: 9.8 meter per second square or not? Meter per second square. I want to go to top. So what shortcut key I'm going to press? Square. Superscript. Control Shift plus sign. Two. Done. Again, press the same shortcut key. Control Shift plus. Right now, select that and make it hidden. Okay, what is the shortcut key for hidden? Shift Control H. Okay, Shift Control H. This become hidden right now. You can see that dot dot under that is showing or not? Means this is a hidden text. This is what hidden text. Okay, right now if I'm going to print this, answer will not print. What will print? Just question is going to be printed. Control. Okay, shortcut key for print preview. Shortcut key for print preview. That is Control plus F2. Control plus F2. If I'm going to press, so you can see that here. Answers are showing here. So here, you're going to write now. For 1,000 students, I'm going to print the question paper. For 1,000 students, I'm going to print the question paper. But answers are there. Answers are available. Okay. Teachers want the answer, so I can give them. If teacher wants the answer, so I can give them answer key. Okay. Here, how I'm going to print the answer? Let's suppose 1000 print I have taken. Here, if I'm going to press Control F2, and this is for students, 1000 prints I have taken. Right now, while paper has been submitted. Okay? So, teacher want to check that or not? So, I'm going to print the answers also or not? Okay? So, how I'm going to print the answer? Right now, what I'm going to do? Here, I'm going to tell him, Microsoft Office button, Word option, and here, display and here down there print hidden text also print hidden text also click make a tick mark here click on ok right now it will print the answers also for teacher who is going to check the paper for teachers who is going to check the paper clear this thing okay. again i'm going to apply or not you got that it has going to be recorded so you can see the video okay but I have throat infection and the sound is not going to be as my usual sound. Okay. Furthermore, hidden text. Any confusion here? Okay. How are we going to unhide? Same again. Press the shortcut key. Control Shift H again. So it become unhidden. Okay. I want to make it unhidden. Select that and Shift Control H. So it become unhidden. You can see that dot dot has been removed. Dot dot has been removed. So it become unhidden text <coughs> okay if I want to make it hidden so select that okay in a normal it will show normal control of two okay but if the option is active mostly mostly in a word option by default hidden text is not printing hidden text is not printing clear okay so right now control F2 for first one answer is not showing for second one answer is showing why because the second one answer is not hidden in a print it is going to be shown but if I'm going to select this option it is not going to be shown so how shift control H so it become hidden right now press control F2 you will see here answer is showing okay it become hidden clear okay. hidden text Excuse me, your concentration is not here. Please, concentrate over here. Okay.
right now here that was phones group first one next one is character spacing character spacing first one is a scale <coughs> scale make is just like we can say the stretch from width wise and height wise both from width wise and height wise okay the text is going to be stretched right now if i'm going to write one word here and i'm going to stretch that how much i'm going to stretch that okay Control E so that you can see at the center. I'm going to stretch that. Select the text and go over there. How much you want to stretch? So scale is there. I'm going to stretch 200%. So you can see that here the font is okay. It is stretched from width wise and height wise both. Okay. But instead of that, if you're going to just small font is there. Font is not the the size or uh, is going to be increased for that. The size is increased or not? Okay. But here one more effect we have right now. If I'm going to compress that 50 so you can see that somebody have compressed it somebody have compressed that clear so that is a scale that is what a scale which you can increase or decrease mostly we applied on titles mostly we applied this effect on titles okay come furthermore here spacing is there if uh, anybody have seen uh, bubble gummers bubble gummers Shoes brand name for kids for kids. Okay here the bubble gummers are written like that Okay, right now you will see here this is going to be written here come to the spacing and they are Condense closer this bubble words the bu bubbles alphabets are closer. How much closer? Okay, like this it is going to touch one another it is going to touch one another so it's seen like this or not B with U is going to touch with the uh, B so this is bubble gamma has been written like that so which effect has been applied condense condense means the character spacing is going to be condensed okay if i'm going to just like i'm going to write any title in t test exam title is there so what i'm going to do i'm going to expand that i'm going to expand but what expand a spaces between the character what is going to be expand spaces between a character so go over there here spacing normal no expand it how much six seven eight Four and ten, eleven. Okay, done. Click on OK. So you can see that it get expanded or not. The character size is not going to be increased. <coughs> okay, the space between character is going to be increased. Understand? For title, we mostly apply it. Okay, this is such an effect. Okay, let's suppose I am going to. Let's suppose I am going to uh, here apply one effect over there. Uh, what effect? Let's suppose I am going to mail. And in a mail down here, I'm going to write my mobile number also. Okay, but that mobile number will be that nobody can understand that. How I'm going to do that? Look over here. For control space enter. Okay, coming down. Yeah. Control L left. Okay, I'm going to write number here. This is not the correct number, okay? Don't try it. Here. Here, right now I'm going to go over there and just apply one effect, font effect on that. Okay? What effect will be there? Here, I'm going to go over spacing and condense. How much condense? Make it. Click on OK. So, right now you will see here, number is there. But it's not visible. 
people say is that oh while i'm going to mail that oh maybe mistake is there okay but a number is there but in a hidden form what form it is there we have condensed the characters the space between character has been removed so one on one character another character is coming on another character another character is coming so they are on one another do i have to say so you can basically this effect is that mean you can condense that or you can expand that but how much condense means the character is coming on the another character clear yeah? okay if at the receiver side he receive the mail so what he is going to do here yeah, just select this okay just select this and press control space okay yeah? automatically this is going to be shown number is showing or not okay means clear formatting clear text formatting understand uh, if we have not the size of that group so so clear mm -hmm. so it will be visible or not yeah means how much the character size is going to be increasing look over here control z i am going to increase the character size look at for so it shows like that or not okay because furthermore if character size is going to be increase for that we need furthermore condense <coughs> how much character size is there so condensed space is furthermore necessary so why we use this option but okay why we use that just like a brand name is there above if somebody wants this is effect just effect you want to give for text effect okay so we give this right now i want that let's suppose i want to write application to search for okay and on one page just two paragraphs are there okay so for uh, okay. okay so right now i want that this characters are coming at the full space okay so here pressing control d here come over there expand that and how much expand you want okay click on okay so right now you can see that the title mostly you have seen on a title like this things or not right now i'm going to write a paragraph okay just let's suppose i have written two paragraphs i have written two paragraphs control f2 so big page is there and two paragraphs are there so bad malum hai shayna mein so what we are going to do we are going to do increase the spacing between the characters so it will take further more space it will take further more space how select the characters or select the data if i'm going to increase the size no problem increase the size how much more than that is not possible to do so because right now i am going to increase the size of this or making control d here character spacing is going to be increase over there expand click on okay so you will see here the format shows like that or not what is thing in a in a space is more and if you want that that is going to be filled <coughs> that is going to be filled so we apply this option at that time clarified okay so right now next one is well let's suppose we have done a subscript and superscript or not i want to write a formula like that here 2x q whole power 5 how i'm going to write that one a superscript is there or not okay but on superscript furthermore something is there that is power 5 possible to written this thing maybe okay so i'm going to tell you why i'm here okay here how we going to do that right now if i'm going to write 2 x okay power 2 so power 2 how i'm going to write control shift plus sign or not and power 2 has been written right now i want furthermore power okay so first of all put a bracket here so that okay control shift plus sign 
okay if i'm going to mostly students says again press the shortcut key so it will not go up it your cursor come down okay so what are we going to do here move your cursor here and we are going to or move your cursor here on this area and just go over there and we have option okay apply again superscript apply again superscript control shift plus sign and go over to the phones group here we have raise function position is going to be position is going to be raised how much raised it is going to be raised 10 okay click on ok so you will see here my cursor goes up or not okay so furthermore you can go how much you want to go up so from a normal how much you want to go up you can go over there okay power 5 furthermore here I am going to write sin uh, sin x square 2 sin x square along with that I want to write 2 no here 5 sin x Square. Right now again I go up or not. So if I am going to press the shortcut key for superscript it will not apply because I am on superscript. I am on superscript. Control shift plus. So my cursor comes to the normal or not. But don't apply that. What are you going to do? Go over to the phones group and here again go over to the raise. Again go over to the sorry. Uh, position is going to be raised again. How much is going to be raised again? Right now furthermore 10. So make it 20. Click on OK. So here square. Clear? So you can write mathematical functions or these things by help of raise and lower. Raise and lower function over there. Clear? Okay. Or right now, how I will come to the normal? How I will come to the normal? So first of all, making it subscript. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, making it removing from the superscript. So shift control plus remove right now go over to the phones and make it normal select what normal and click on ok so your cursor come to the normal so solve this equation understand mathematical functions how you going to apply this next one here is raise and lower raise and lower so lower again same like if you come down too much down so it's possible to do so how which down like that i'm going to write the equations on both to log 100 and that is again log 5 <coughs> here sign okay so how are we going to write this function okay log 100 is possible to write Okay, with a subscript, with a subscript is possible to write. I am going to write the equation log, log, subscript, control shift, no sorry, control plus sign, 100, here, yeah. log again, log to the base 5. So base 5 is going to be written down how? Subscript is not furthermore going to be utilized. What are we going to do? We are going to the phones group and here lower function position is going to be control D and position is going to be lower how much lower make it 10 to 12 or 15 okay 15 click on ok so it goes too much down and how much 5 okay and right now if you want to come to the up so make it normal make it normal normal okay and it is subscript or not Okay, control plus sign. So here, sine theta, theta, theta symbol. I'm going to create. Okay. There is no theta. So I go through over there, and inside that is too much difficult to find out symbol. Okay, one more uh, benefit of this. My benefit of this. Office 2007 symbols in 2003 are unarranged form. Symbol in 2003 are unarranged form. In 2007, we have a symbol in too much arranged form. How? Look over here. I'm going to create one of them. Here, go over. You can see these symbols or not? I want to go over to the mathematical symbols or theta is for which symbol? Mathematical or not? So that is a theta. Theta. Okay. So click over there. Theta is coming or not? Okay. 
while we are going to discuss the mathematical equations i'm going to fully explain that okay and previously while i was using 2003 i have mostly searched for the characters where this character will be but in 2007 it is too much a range form if i want a perpendicular sign perpendicular you know this is perpendicular Xavier so, Navi, what do you say is that? Perpendicular. Okay, so this is geometrical signs or not geometry? Okay, so here we have uh, insert and go over there. Not basic maths. I will go to the uh, here subscript navigator operators geometry and geometry. You can see that this is a perpendicular or not? perpendicular so the sign is going to come okay so these signs and symbols too much easy inside it to find out in 2007 but in 2003 you got <coughs> waste your time on that clear so this phrase and lower function has been applied next one here is position keening to phones keening to phones keening to phones means concentrate on phones concentrate on phones I'm going to apply this option here Okay, just I'm going to apply on this paragraph. First one paragraph. Select that, pressing Ctrl D, and I'm going to apply keening to phones, 11 size, and click on OK. So, slight effect is there, slight, too much slight. You can see that slide the text get closer. I'm going to show you. You can see the change? Yes, sir. So, this slight effect, where the effect is there, where the effect is there, it reduces where the space is there slightly reduce that where just like y is there why the u has written like this y o u okay but while you're going to tell him key into phone how this is written y o is coming here near to that near to that and this is going to you know, not o will be u will be at the same position just with a y so it comes closer or not so the space is slightly increased so that is keening to the phones there, so this is slight effect. Uh, today we have discussed. Today we have discussed all the phones group or not? Yeah. Enough for today. Yeah. Okay. I can stop that or not inside the.